Everything we need to know about Darth Vader can be understood within these five minutes. His ominous presence, his affiliation with the Empire, and the fear he instills with those around him. George Lucas, writer and director of Star Wars, knew the power of an intimidating foe. Using visual storytelling, he created the most iconic villain in cinematic history. Picture this. You're in the theater watching Star Wars for the first time. The camera pans down and you're greeted by the terrifying vastness of space and a seemingly never ending starship. This smaller, meeker ship has soldiers desperately trying to escape the pursuing Imperial forces. Suddenly the door to the rebel ship blasts open and we see why they were so defensive. Foot soldiers make sure to clear the room and only then, once the room has been neutralized, a dark silhouette emerges, contrasting this white room with despair. Lucas first chooses to use the shot reverse shot technique that is masterfully employed here. We see the rebels' fearful faces contrasted with the impersonal, emotionless gaze of the stormtroopers and Vader behind his mask. And it's once these troopers neutralize the room, Vader emerges, instantly telling us that he likes to reserve his power for those who actually impose a threat to his authority. And just the sheer design of his costume alone is intimidating. Yet Regal, the cape adds a royalty flair and bellows as he moves matching the slow but sure strides he takes, while the sleek, robotic mask adds a harsher, more menacing look to his character. But what makes his entrance truly iconic is the juxtaposition of scale. He fills the frame, physically and metaphorically dominating the scene. The stature of Darth Vader provides a hefty gravitas and demands our attention. Lucas again uses visual storytelling to reinforce Vader's 6 foot 7 height and strength. He's clearly not to be messed with and leaves his enemy in terror. And before we ever hear him speak, the haunting noise of mechanical breathing is the only sound filling the room. It's a warning to those around that Darth Vader is nearby. As this unforgettable moment unfolds, John Williams' masterful score swells in the background, underscoring Vader's intimidating presence. When Vader finally does speak, the commanding deep voice of James Earl Jones is what we hear, giving him an unforgettable aura of authority and menace. Where are those transmissions you intercepted? What have you done with those plans? Without James Earl Jones, there is no Darth Vader. Every word is said with clear intention and perfect delivery. So it's no surprise that Darth Vader has some of the most iconic lines ever. <laughs> I find your lack of faith disturbing. On top of this all, the unknown factor adds to the suspense, making his first appearance a moment of shock and awe. Darth Vader is an enigmatic foe, but as we learn more about him, he never fails to lose his power. In fact, Darth Vader doesn't utilize the Force until 40 minutes into the film, only using it when a subordinate disrespects his power, and his red-blooded lightsaber isn't revealed until the last 40 minutes of the film. And as the films progress, the backstory only gives more depth and meaning to Vader's character. George Lucas knew the power of visual storytelling was the right way to introduce a character, all the way back in 1977. He knew the script alone isn't going to elevate the movie, but also the visual aspect behind it. Using $11 million, 74 adjusted for inflation, Lucas created a movie with an iconic villain that would cost modern studios over $200 million to make. Star Wars A New Hope has stood the test of time and gave the world a villain that has transcended beyond cinema. Through countless novels, video games, and spin-offs, Darth Vader has remained a powerful foe and is worthy of being called the perfect villain.